What is going on everyone? Leon checking in and we're at it again with more content. And today we're here to talk more about the Lenovo Legion Pro 7i Gen 9. And we're covering gaming performance. Now the Legion Pro 7i does not disappoint with its latest 14th gen Intel processor, NVIDIA 40 series GPU and 32 gigabytes of RAM. Titles like Cyberpunk 2077 play effortlessly on the 7i. And what I've noticed is that the titles that I have tried also default to the max settings. That being said, the goal of this content is to help you get more out of your devices and improve your day-to-day -day efficiency. And I'm hoping to accomplish this by providing content you can't find anywhere else because I actually buy these products, I use them long-term, and I'm actually interested in them. All things said, let's go ahead and get into it. So let's start by talking about what's going on here and we'll start with specs. So we're going to have an Intel Core i9 processor, the NVIDIA GeForce RTX 4090 and 32 gigs of RAM. Now, of course, we could go into more detail about these specs, but if you're interested in learning more about them, you can find them at the link in the description down below. And we can also adjust performance settings in the Lenovo Vantage application, which we're going to skip in this video because I want to keep it very simple. I don't want to make this really long content, but I plan to cover that in the future as well. But to keep things simple, if you are interested in the basic specs that I've worked with, we've got the performance thermal mode enabled, as well as the DGPU mode. And you can easily overclock the GPU again in the Lenovo Vantage app. But I want to skip this because it can be a bit risky and I have limited knowledge about overclocking at the moment. And then a smaller side note, I am connected to power with the factory 330 watt AC adapter, but you can use a USB-C adapter and Lenovo recommends a 140 watt unit. And that can be used for power delivery by plugging into the power delivery port at the back of the Legion Pro 7i. And if you're watching the content, you can see that I have a cooling pad here with some really nice RGB lighting. We've got several lighting modes. I have a video about that, I don't wanna cover it in this video. And it works really well, but interesting enough for this review and the clips that you're seeing, I didn't use the cooling feature and the Legion Pro 7i seemed to work very well. Now that being said, when I do normally game with the Legion Pro 7i, I always turn on the cooling mode. But again, I accidentally forgot to turn on the fan for this and we had really good performance. So the main point here is the Legion Pro 7i has excellent gaming performance because it's all in a laptop chassis. In fact, I at one point was considering getting a desktop, but how well this works actually has me thinking there is no need for a desktop, at least at this moment. So first we have the display. This is a 16 inch WQXGA unit pure sight display and I really like this display because it has minimal bezels. In fact, Lenovo quotes this as taking up about 93, almost 94 percent of the actual display. So you get a lot of display with minimal bezel. This creates a very good picture, very good video. Now, based on my experience, we also have good color accuracy. Now, of course, this will all be based on personal taste, personal opinion but I feel everything looks really good on this display. So let's talk game titles that I'm playing on the Legion Pro 7i. And the reason I'm mentioning these titles is because they are what I'm currently playing. So first we're going to have Cyberpunk 2077, then we're going to have Resident Evil 4, and then Mortal Kombat 1. And what's interesting is that I believe two out of three titles defaulted to max settings. Now for Cyberpunk 2077, I think I had to go into the graphic settings and change them to max. Or maybe it would have defaulted to the max settings, but I've been playing that title the most out of all of them, and I might have accidentally changed the settings in the past, not knowing what goes into this laptop, not really paying attention. So maybe Cyberpunk 2077 also defaults to max settings, but I am not sure because when I went into graphic settings, I believe it was set to custom. So again, I think I went in there and I changed everything before realizing what might possibly have been the max settings. So speaking more on Cyberpunk 2077, all settings again are set to max. So we have ray tracing set to ray tracing overdrive. 
I just love the sound of that. That sounds pretty crazy. And then other settings will either be set to high or ultra, whichever highest setting is available. And what I will say is Cyberpunk 2077 is an excellent demonstration of ray tracing. You can see reflections very well in say puddles or cars or any other object. It just looks very reminiscent of what you would see in the real world. It's getting to a point where these games are starting to create these realistic atmospheres that are almost equivalent to just going outside and experiencing life. Then we have Resident Evil 4, again set to max settings. And the Legion Pro 7i plays this title effortlessly as well. Resident Evil 4 is going to be a great example of textures, environmental textures. We're talking about things like the path that you're walking on, buildings, the sidewalk, objects, all those kind of things. The Legion Pro 7i demonstrates its capabilities in the textures of objects in this game. And finally, we have Mortal Kombat 1. Graphic settings are a bit more basic here, but once again, we're set to max settings. And this game just looks overall really good on the Legion Pro 7i as well. It's not as fancy as, say, Cyberpunk 2077 or Resident Evil 4, but still, you're going to get really good game performance for that game. Everything is just looking really good. It runs really well. Moving on, we're going to have gaming controls. And I'll be honest, I'm more of a gamepad user. I actually use an Xbox controller for my gaming, but I wanted to treat this fairly. I wanted to do a review of using the keyboard and the trackpad for gaming on the Legion Pro 7i to give my thoughts about it. So I think the keyboard works really well. In fact, with more time, I could actually see myself using the keyboard to game. I kind of love the feel of memorizing certain keys and just where to place my hands. I think it's a bit more challenging than say a game pad. And I just like the challenge of that. Now, when it comes to the trackpad, I was a little bit disappointed. I think the trackpad for gaming is not sensitive enough, which is interesting because when using the trackpad for productivity, such as word processing or video editing, it seems to work fine, but for gaming, it just doesn't seem sensitive enough. So I had to apply more pressure to the trackpad, but then that became irritating because I was activating certain features within the game that I didn't want to when I was just trying to move around. That being said, it makes sense why a lot of gamers will use a mouse. I feel like I have a lot more control and there is increased precision over using the trackpad. And then we have fan noise. And not surprising here, but if you're running the Legion Pro 7i on max settings, the fan is going to get loud. Now, I find a way to block this out is by using headphones or earbuds. That being said, my favorite headphones to use will be the Skull Candy Crusher Evos. They have excellent bass. We've actually reviewed these on the channel some time ago. And I'll provide the card in the corner of this content. But these work really well. And that'll block out the fan noise. And then there is cooling performance. And thanks to Legion's cold front vapor technology, the Legion Pro 7i seems to run at max performance with the max performance settings with no issues outside of, again, that fan noise and some rare occasional hiccups, most noticeably in Cyberpunk 2077. But again, this didn't happen very often. Once in a while, there might be like a slight hiccup or a slight hesitation. Overall, the games that I played here, they all ran very, very well. And again, I can't emphasize enough. Again, I am using a cooling pad. But what I'm talking about here is the cooling pads fan being off. So we really are just using the cooling system of the Legion Pro 7i. The fan wasn't running on my cooling pad, so this is a worst case scenario. And I just use the cooling pad because I like the added insurance. I feel like it gives me added performance because it improves cooling. But if you don't have a cooling pad, it seems that you're going to be okay for the time being. Again, no real issues here except a minor hiccup or glitch in Cyberpunk 2077 
And again, very, very rare. So gaming performance, the Legion Pro 7, I, from my experience, performs excellent. I can't really think of any huge issues I had, but if I have to mention a con, there is one, and that is portability in regards to gaming. Now I will say that a gaming laptop is still somewhat of a heavy and large awkward device. So if you're looking for something a bit more portable and you can sacrifice some performance, or actually quite a bit of performance, I would recommend the Lenovo Legion Go. I have that also, and I have to say, I am very impressed with Lenovo's products lately. I actually had the Lenovo Legion Go first, and that's why I wanted to try the Lenovo Legion Pro 7i Gen 9, and I've been happy with those two products, as well as the Lenovo wearable glasses, their Legion glasses. Those work really well. So right now, it seems like Lenovo is really coming hard with its products. It's really bringing the competition. They are producing products that I can actually recommend that I've been happy with so far. So that is it for today's content. As always, thanks for watching and may the universe flow in your favor. And until next time, Leon check in out.